as if that friendship had nothing to do with God. So, so it is just one example. But yeah, I mean, there are plenty of other examples. I mean, working, having money, possessions, not having anything, or being sick, or uh, you know, any of these things. None of these things can be separated from, from God, from the influence of the light of, of Christ. See? So, um, we cannot divide ourselves. We cannot divide our love between Christ and those little things that we like to do or things that we want to have. That is not, that is not the point. God made us for Himself, and we cannot live without Him. So, you can imagine, how many of your friends, of your relatives, children, neighbors, co-workers, how many of, theirs, of them, their salvation is going to depend on you? On nothing else, but on you giving them an example. An example of, of life, of a good work, of doing well, whatever you have to do every day. See? God is not requiring you to do anything supernatural or divine. See, we go to heaven by doing what we do every day, by doing human things, by doing them with perfection, with uh, supernatural perfection. That's all we need to do. So God is not expecting you to, you know, levitate or, you know, transform your house in a minute or your children or, you know, nothing. He wants you to, to do with perfection what you do every day. Raising your children, cleaning your house, going to work every morning, going to school. That is, in concrete terms, what God wants you to do. So whatever you do every day is an intimate relationship with the will of God. So, you are, so that means that you are constantly handling God's glory. See? You glorify God by doing what we need to do. So, if it comes to, you know, gaining money or having a job, I mean, you don't have those things simply because you want to survive. You have those things because you want to glorify God. So, whether you are, you know, in poverty, whether you are in the in the hospital, whether you have too many things or too many friends or a difficult life, you know, whatever it might be, that's God's will for you. See? And you have to keep bringing all of those things in contact with the will of God. So during this holy season of Easter, let us uh, bring together our lives and offer everything we do, everything we desire, our dreams, everything we want to do. Let us bring all of those things under the umbrella of the kingdom of heaven. Because you are out there at work to do one thing, and that one thing is to reorient, reorder everything to Christ. That's all you need to do. So, let us do our job well. See, and so it is not simply our struggle against sin. Or, you know, not committing certain sins. Or things like that. That is only half of what we need to do. The rest is collaborating with Christ. See, so, so that's all we need. The name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.